The Moon Everest by Mark V. The um, Wonder. Yeah, I see we got him there. And it's his level. There's an X in the thing. Oh, VLDC X written out in stone. Wow, that is a. Look at this extra touch on, on the title screen. This is like the first really multi. multimedia experience here. Oh, they did. Turns out when we sent Yoshi's on the moon, they just drowned on lack of air. Mario, we were sending him out too. Look at that. Space house tips. All right, let's learn all about the space house. Here we go. Good dealings with good evens. Side Yoshi grave show where the Yoshi's died on the moon. Taking those pa- Oh, okay. All right. Find the volcano lotus. Be careful. A section is only right if you're my. Well. Who knows what I'm gonna do? I cannot go in the space ruins. Uh, all right, we got some tips, and we're going on a moon. The, we got the moon theme from Ducktales. Why is the first Yoshi I encounter kicking rocks at me? And this guy's throwing stars. All right, something's going on here. The moon, the, the Yoshi's did survive, and uh, they now pack some ammo. They're out for destruction. Also, there are spiders, so this has a moon grave, so it's a harder path, you can tell. Also, Monty's here. He's having fun. He's like, yeah, I'm Monty. How's it going? Give me money. That's, 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 that is what I figured Monty Mole just always says. It's his catchphrase. And then I got kind of confused, because obviously the column is not going to be solid, because I walked through it to get there. I cannot explain this, but yeah, like, if you're gonna put... The first enemy is a Kickball Charlie. I'm going to start cautiously, by which I mean I'm just gonna run into problem everywhere. Seems to be a fairly kind of open, explorey level here. Well, I took this path. There's stars in the air. We are in space, but, like, stars are in the air everywhere. Whoa, watch out. No, see, this is not a good spot to go, I say. Going on a good spot, no. So, there's a Volcano Lotus. Oh, that's just a block. It's not a throw block. It's just hanging out there for fun. Alright, hey, buddy, guy, relax. So look out for the Volcano Lotus. For where the moon is at. Alright, so is the moon at in this in this pipe? I mean, I'll check it out. Like, if you're, if you're gonna taunt me like that. There's brave graves everywhere, but there's also armored Yoshis everywhere. All right, this is a this is a oh wow what what is this? <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I guess you, you, this is a this is a, yeah. I don't think I can jump on that ledge from now here. Like, I think this is like Return Trip City. Like I'm seeing ledge, I'm like okay, this could do something. Or it could just be where a Resnor would want to hang out if there was a space Resnor in space. Which there is not. There it says P. Oh. That kind of P. Got it. I'm going slow. I'm probably going to die. Being a balloon in space. It's just like being a pastry in lace. That doesn't really happen all of that. What are these weird pile of bones everywhere? I don't know. Well, I'm going backwards through my pipe. I'm now somewhere. Maybe I didn't do it right. Oh. Eee. Well, I did it! I found this okay. Like, so, yeah, I found a secret exit. Normally I just do one exit, but this was clearly, like, an expediated experience. So let's just go ahead and try and do the level for real here. But that was, yeah, I you know what? There was a lot of spikes. It was very scary. Tights were jumps to say things backwards. Uh, honestly, I don't know which path I want to take. I'm just bopping on Morton. Tim Horton exists. Dang it, I got burnt in a stupid way. I'm just going to ignore the world and what it has to say. Look at that, see? There's people there, but if I walk down, I won't despair. So I don't know if, like, the Graves mean to indicate, like, slightly harder challenges? If you're- whoa, whoa, what? Oh yeah, it's a football. Whoa, this Yoshi is nice! I don't understand what that means. Alright, well, we can do that. That's what that means. We can do that and get a P-switch, huh? How about that? 
And we got ourselves a reset door. I cannot play video games. Well, we could use that as some kind of platform to get up there, maybe. Let's try this out. We even get platforms here to make it more palatable to the human eye. Alright, look at my human eyeball. Hey, look at that. This is where the garden. There we go. Eat your fill, Yoshi B. Come large. And very large, too, as an extra bonus. So I think I need to, like, bounce on you. Then you go like, whoa, I'm running now. Then you do that. And then we can go inside. I don't know if that's a reset or... Yeah, I think it is. And I harmed that, that man a little too much. But, like, you need to bop on him once so that he starts running. Like, that's just... That is obligatorium. Right, we got something weird here. So then we go here, like... Whoa! And you destroy the world, or at least a little bit, or at least that part of the world that I care about. And I'm gonna bop on this head, and they're gonna have great memories of me visiting them <laughs> and giving them concussions. Well, I'm gonna eat these rocks. That's right. Get out of here, Yoshi warrior. All right, Yoshi, protect me! We now I'm gonna hide inside this foggy cave. That's what all true were. Oh, you thought you were hiding it out there. Weird Yoshi statue hiding in the smoke. Oh man. <laughs> that Yoshi's got a spike ball. Alright, so there's an awkward statue stopping me. <laughs> what are the Yoshis doing? Or do you think it's another civilization that liked them a lot, but unfortunately, they destroy the people they like a lot? Like, I've seen that in fiction, so it's possible. All right, look at that. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Depthful dodge. Now we got fireball. Okay, so the, those are solid. The ones that are hunched up, but the ones that are standing are background. I can't tell if is that on purpose here. Like, I just I couldn't help but notice the lack of wall texture, and I don't know if it's something I was supposed to notice and it's meaningful, or if it was an accident. Like, I cannot tell. Uh, this is getting real cramped here. Lots of people. I don't think there's anything to be gained from going through the mattress. Fear and then to the flag. I claim the moon on the Mushroom Kingdom's behalf. Uh, that's kind of being of a jerk, though. The Yoshis were clearly there. You fought them tooth and nail while you were on the moon. This level was fine. This level was honestly... Yeah, it was a bit spammy in the second half, but otherwise it was fine. Are we just already at fine levels that kind of do need things? Cause man, we got a lot more of those to go through. Error code number 1D4 by Sayuri. Uh, it's the level we're gonna be playing right now. Wow, there's a lot of things. I may or may not concern myself with these things. This is the law of the wild way. I can press a button, make this error code it's right there, castle right there. We got Yoshi Islands too, but right there, error code. Oh geez. Uh alright. Starting off pretty intense. We got some crazy scrolling in the colonnades in the background. Alright, good thing we got that startup room. Catastrophic level failure. Oh no! The question mark rocks from all facts no power function has been altered. Well, I mean, there was a there was a mushroom on the ground at the very least. So, easy to fall through, do not run. Oh! Really? You base your whole level around those hell blocks? Wow, that takes some guts. Yeah, so in the editor, you have these blocks there. By the way, get up here for secret exit. Um, they look like reverse question blocks. What they are actually are inclines. They're like a sloped block. They're not a question mark block at all. Uh, but they might trick you if you are a beginning video game maker man. Or lady. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, they... Ooh, they base the entirety of their level on this. How do you get that? Without it being like a huge pain. I guess you can wait for Wizard Chan to appear. Oh, you use these. So look, just pretend that I'm bringing both these objects with me to the end. 
and uh, like to, like over to the left. And oh my gosh, I got a secret exit! I can't believe it. And then I replayed back here in the very fast motion to the point where it was basically a cut. And here we go. I just saved me some time. <laughs> That guy, he just spewed some magic all over the place. Now spikes are gonna fall. Isn't that hilarious? Not really. That's just a statement of fact. Our s true fact hilarious? Well, sometimes it can be. A statement can be funny, whether it be true or not. Oh, hey. Welcome to the engineering room. We put bullets everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Oh. Ah, uh, there we go. Then you're like, ah, uh, then you're like, ah. Uh. I'm, oh man, that's the basis of video games right there. All right, check it out. Did that got a midpoint? Now I'm going down the middle and bump on this guy. Now I'm gonna run up this wall. Yeah, saying what's going on? Here we go. Video game. There's a lot of fire here. Yep. Thank. Thanks for the input there, Gao Cow. Wouldn't be able to do it without you. Check it out, we're here now. Okay, so I'm gonna get this Dagadon. But that Dagadon is worth five, so I got them all. Alright, here we go. Uh, okay, so yeah, so, yeah, so the secret of these big blocks really is don't move. <laughs> like, that's basically what I would summarize it. Just, just treat them like they were a really sensitive something. That something in the middle of the night. That's that's a bad summary. I don't know what I'm doing here. So this guy's gonna do that. He's smiling. Is that a smile? Smile enough. Oh boy, I'm getting hurt in dumb ways here though. All right, I'm doing part of level backwards. All right, so yeah, see, just don't move while I'm on the block. Just treat them that blocks. I don't want you to move. Okay. I don't know why. This level spends a lot of time going to the left. Oh, so I was afraid of the thwimp, and uh, that happened afterwards. Level's kind of long, huh? Well, hey, we get to experience the resort portion of the room. It's got I got a growing lamp and everything. I love lamps. Give me more lamps in video games, please. Let's do that in the scariest way possible. And there's nothing wrong with this level. Uh, if you are into very dull palettes, man, do I have something to propose to you. I did that all wrong, by the way. <laughs> yeah, dull grays and greens. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A true feast for the eyes. I mean, they wanted to go with a more realistic look. Can't fault them for them, for that. But it's not. Uh, ascension. So, conclusion here is I'm just doing that part all wrong, probably. What? Hey, how'd you didn't land? Yeah, see? So, I don't know if. Mm. Okay. That's one whole cycle more than... Also, like, does not matter? Every time I've died, it's falling in a floor. Yeah, but if I can take a hit instead of having to make a risky jump to avoid, like, a thwimp... The extra hit becomes meaningful. Alright, I played this before. Yeah, I went at least up to here. I forget where I died exactly. It was here where I I panicked, saw a thwimp, and like like around here probably even or here, like you know, somewhere around somewhere around A. Okay. Why? Why you want me to A? You don't want me to use the blocks anymore? I mean, I get that. No one should want to use those blocks at any time, but okay. Hey! Po to bow and a bullet generator, got it. Oh boy, alright, so once again, I feel like I kinda wanna limit my movement. Because po to bows this time. Uh, bullet is also a little scary. There's like some added, uh, added instruments to 
It's a classic song. Man, that Potabo. Your your Potabo there, Wendy, was an excellent investment, I have to say. Shoot. If I had stayed on that side, I would have been fine. Once again. No, I'm I'm taking Wendy's slowly here. You know, I prefer my hamburgers in slow motion, personally speaking. They last longer, you know? It's just pure logic. Yeah, this level isn't half bad. It's not... It's not the best level I've ever played. I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but... It had an idea and it ran with it. Um, really risky move. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really pay off, but I mean, I... I appreciate, uh, at least the attempt. Yeah, like, realistic colors, I just don't feel make attractive Mario levels. Hot take here. Blazing on the subway station.